I was in Vietnam, uh, landed in Vietnam on January, or July the 16th of 1967 as a young Brown Bar 2nd Lieutenant going to my infantry battalion and uh, it was very scary. It uh, wasn't long after that that the Tet Offensive kicked off and the unit I was with, we were in Hue City uh, during the Tet Offensive and taking action there. Uh, came home in April of 69, uh, retired from the Corps in May of 89. Uh, in January, or February of 2018, I had finally got up enough uh, chutzpah to join a group of 17 other Marines that were going back to Vietnam for the first time in 50 years. And uh, there's a group out of San Antonio called Vietnam Battlefield Tours, and we were all going over as a tour group together. And it was a little bit of trepidation of going back over and trying to relive some of the memories and seeing places that we had been, and it was kind of gut-wrenching at times to be in some of the places, but was able to put away some of the bad memories and establish some good memories. We ended up in uh, Hanoi and uh, visiting the uh, embassy marines that are up there and had a good dinner with them. And the next day we went to the imperial grounds where Ho Chi Minh is laid out in his state. And uh, it's a military run organization. Uh, everyone that's there is in dress whites resplendent with their marching and their posting of their guards and, and that sort of stuff. And uh, what it reminded me of immediately was Arlington. It was uh, the symbolism was just remarkable. Then, of course, you got to go through the line to visit uh, Mayo and <laughs> Ho Chi Minh in his uh, uh, plastic state. <laughs> and uh, then you walk out, but then you get to thinking about it. Uh, it's a little strange, but Ho Chi Minh was their Vietnam savior in their eyes. He's the one that brought the country together and unified them and, and everything. So. Again, what does it remind you of or reminded me of? It's Arlington, and what do we have in Arlington? But our military heroes and our presidents and our, and our uh, soldiers and sailors and Marines and veterans that have passed and that are there, and it's, the symbolism was the same. As we were wandering around the grounds, uh, we ran into four Vietnamese generals in their uniforms and all resplendent with their medals and everything. And, their little entourage. There were two uh, three stars, a couple of two stars and a one star. And uh, of course we had our Marine Corps logos and hats on and we just started through our interpreter chit-chatting and talking and and uh, before it was over with, was, tears were flowing, hugs were going. Interestingly, two of the generals had been lieutenants in the North Vietnamese Army defending the Citadel 50 years before, and here we are, 50 years later, meeting and greeting, 50 years before we had been eyeball to eyeball shooting enemies, and here we are, all of us hugging and crying and shaking hands and picture taking, and it was just such an emotional and unplanned emotional event that for me, the light switch got turned, the war's over, and I went home in peace.